Hey guys, this is Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Power Player figures from Playmates Toys. These figures are one of their latest properties. And it's about a, uh, a young boy who can transform into a, uh, a living size action figure by use of the power bands. And he takes over as the new leader of the power players, which consists of these guys and a few other members right here. This is uh, Sarge right here. Uh, this guy is uh, Barbarian, Galileo, it's the lizard guy, uh, Masco and Axel, and the villain is Madcap. The villain is kind of like uh, an alien looking guy with a big head. So we'll be taking a look at him too. And this is an action pack series currently airing on Cartoon Network. For a bit more details, uh, check out our video walkthrough uh, at New York Toy Fair with uh, brand manager Jeff Trojan. Okay, let's kick off this review and take a look at Axel. He's the human boy who can uh, transform into a living action figure. And I think the figure is really neat. The design is really neat. Uh, He's mostly in armor. As you can see, he's got the red, he's got yellow, he's got blue, and he's got black in some spots. And it's a great design for a character, for a figure. Uh, only his uh, face, you can see, that's how you can tell he's human. And he's got the power player symbol on his chest. Oops. On his back, more the same colors. That looks to be a jetpack of some kind. And he comes with a transparent green sword and shield. The shield can plug into these ports right here, which are located here. And also on the other side, right there. So just to give you guys a look. tricky to get in there but once it's in it's pretty good and the sword can go fit in either hand and there's a look at him uh, the articulation is pretty standard for all of these for the five inch figure scale uh, ball jointed head ball hinged shoulders uh, swivel hinged elbows, swivel wrists, ball hinge knees, swivel hinge knees, or ball hinge hips, I should say, swivel hinge knees, and uh, swivel rocker ankles. So he's pretty good on the articulation front. A lot of great poses with him. And I think he uh, is actually one of my favorite designs in the line. All right. Let's take a look at Sarge. Sarge is my personal favorite of the line. He's a uh, military guy. Think uh, five inch G.I. Joe. Uh, kind of in that scale right there. You don't see too many uh, military type guys done in this style, done in the scale. So this is a nice treat for people. And I love the outfit, the, uh, the brown shirt with the blue pants, the chest harness, uh, great head sculpt with the scar right there. Bring it up closer, you guys can see. He's got uh, blonde hair. It's yellow on the figure, blue eyes. The backpack is removable, but there's a, um, a hole right in the back. So it's not 
meant to be removed per se. And he comes with this big missile launcher accessory. Uh, this or rocket launcher. This doesn't fire out and it has a face on there. You see the eyes, you see the mouth, a shark head. And he can hold it in multiple ways. He can hold it in both hands. One hand to your satisfaction. You can hold it just like that. It's definitely a fun design. And as far as articulation goes, ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, swivel hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hinged hips, waist rotation, hinged and swivel knees, and no ankle articulation. Here's a closer look at the accessory. And here is a look at Galileo. Uh, on the show, he's from a TV series uh, that's in the in-universe, the Junior Genetic Spy Lizard toy line. And uh, in the show, the figure was never released, but he's in Axel's bedroom. There's a figure in there. So I don't fully understand that, but... So Playmates Toys did a figure of him since he's uh, in the show. And I think he's a really nice looking lizard figure. Uh, nice fin back of his head, the tail. Tail can swivel around, uh, comes with uh, great design. He's got sculpted textures on his arms and legs. You can see there. He's got the power player symbol on his uh, belt buckle there. So it is uh, Sarge. Forgot to point that out. And he comes with this uh, firing disc thingy. Uh, the disc, I think it's supposed to fire, but when you push this in, nothing happens. So I think this one's a dud, but that's okay. Uh, so this fits on his wrist like this, so he can hold on to that. And as far as articulation goes, he's got a, a swivel neck, hinged jaw, which actually doesn't stay open. On this one, it closes shut, as you can see. He's got swivel hinged shoulders hinged elbow, he's got a swivel wrist, he's got a hinged uh, torso, which is uh, really good. Usually uh, Playmates Toys doesn't offer this part of articulation, so it's great to see that. He's got a swivel, race, swivel waist, he's got a uh, hinged swivel hips, he's got double hinged knee, Again, Playmates Toys doesn't usually offer double hinges, so that's definitely a nice plus right there. And he's got hinged ankles. And design-wise, I think he's a great figure. Uh, what I like about him is that he can fit in pretty much anything. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for example. Playmates Toys also does that, so he would fit in with nicely with some of those figures let's take a look at the tail also the tail has this little uh, gadget on the back might be so he can spy on someone I have not seen the show so I do apologize but it is on my to-do list
Up next is Bear Barian. He's a pretty bulky figure of the line. He's the muscle for the team. And on the show, he's a, uh, a toy bear. And he comes with a good amount of detail, some clothing. He comes with his uh, word breaker hammer that he can hold on to in either hand. And pretty great sculpt. Uh, he's got the sculpted fur, as you can see, including on his face there. Very good amount of detail. Swing it around, take a look at the back. He's got hair in the back. That's uh, grayish hair. Also seen through the mask here on the sides. The, uh, the mask is pretty detailed. As you can see, it's uh, non-removed, cannot be removed, but it is a little uh, made of soft plastic here and a little bit up by the ears here. And uh, he comes with a chest harness. You can see the uh, silver metallic skull there. He's got the Power Players logo right there on the black belt. He's got a uh, shoulder pad right there. Let's just move that back up a little bit. Uh, he also comes with uh, torn brown pants. You can see the torn parts right there. A little bit on that side and a couple in the back. It's uh, really good to have a big bulky figure like this part of the line. Usually uh, Playmates Toys doesn't or for such bulkiness in their five inch scale figures. So this is definitely a uh, welcome addition for, for a nice change of pace, something new, something unique. And uh, as far as articulation goes, he's got a swivel head. He's got ball hinge shoulders. I'm gonna take the hammer off. Once it's in, it is pretty tight. He's got uh, swivel wrists, and he's got a swivel waist right here. Uh, there's also uh, pegs on the bottom of his feet, and I believe the other figures of the line do as well. I forgot to point that out before. And he also has a uh, wristband here. Some nice details on it. Let's take a look at the hammer. Hammer is uh, a bit hollow, but it fits in either hand very well. Once he holds on to it, it doesn't fall out. And as far as his head sculpt goes, he's got uh, some really nice paint applications on the eyes. As you can see there, some great uh, sculpted details around the mouth, the ears with a light brown representing fur. So this one is definitely one of my favorites, but again, Sarge is my favorite from the line, definitely. Five inch military style figure, you gotta love it. Here is a look at Masco. Masco is a wrestler with uh, stretchy powers like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four, like Stretch Armstrong on the show. But the figure unfortunately doesn't have this feature. It would have been nice if he had uh, interchangeable parts. You can remove the shoulders and uh, he comes with an extra stretchy arm, but unfortunately he's just pretty much a standard five inch figure, muscular, but he has a great sculpt. Uh, I love the tattoo details on his shoulders there. Very nicely done, just like on the show. Uh, he comes with a championship belt. It says Universe Champion in uh, metallic gold. The uh, head sculpt is really nice. Uh, includes a mask, a yellow mask around his face. He also has a red mask that can be uh, switched out. Let's just 
put that on to show you guys. So there's a look at them with the red mask. It almost looks like a completely different character. So if you want to buy a second one, make it look like a tag team, for example, that would look great. Uh, the uh, This mask has these little things sticking up. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. Horns, maybe. I'm not sure. There's a little bit of uh, sculpted detail on this mask, while this one here is there's it's just uh, smooth but you can look here some few sculpted lines in there uh, there's black around here he keeps his blue eyes there's a look at the back and as far as the outfit he keeps his uh, yellow shorts with uh, black trim around it black boots and yellow wristbands. As far as articulation goes, he comes with a bolt jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, swivel hinge elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hinged hips, a little bit of waist rotation, but it's pretty limited. The belt, uh, as you can see, and the stomach there touch, so prevents him from having a full range of motion. Uh, he also has uh, swivel hinge knees and hinged ankles. All right, let's take a look at Madcap. Madcap is the villain of the assortment and he has one of the most unique sculpts that I think uh, Playmates Toys has ever done before. Uh, he kind of looks like a, a big alien type guy. Uh, the sculpt is mostly black. Uh, comes with a great head sculpt. Look at that amount of detail in there. Uh, I've noticed that when the legs are, or hips, legs are positioned like this, the mouth has a very limited range of motion when it opens, but when you move it to the side like that, he has a bit more range of motion, as you can see. which looks good. Uh, there's also some great sculpted lines in the sculpt. Only up here they painted it in the light green, which is the same as the top of the head and the back here. There's a look at that green. But it's also over here too, but the rest of it is just cast in black. Uh, that's what they usually do, especially uh, fans have previously noticed that some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had uh, some limited paint applications while the rest of the sculpt was cast in one color like black, and that's to uh, keep costs down. But it still looks good, and if uh, anyone wants to customize it, paint these uh, line work sculpted uh, lines in here you can some really talented customizers out there so that'll be something to do while we're all in quarantine but so yeah this is uh, a great looking figure great head sculpt really love it and he also comes with these tentacles so I like to think of it uh, Dr. Octopus Dr. Octavius from Marvel uh, these are bendy you can't uh, put them more than one position. So they stay just like that. There's a look at the back. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. I also want to give a great big thank you to Playmates Toys for providing these figures for review. If you're on YouTube, make sure to click the link below to check out a uh, photo gallery, a look at the packaging of the figures, and a full written review, as well as to where to buy these right now. Uh, again, do not go out shopping. Stay home. Buy these online. Have them shipped. Stay safe, you guys, and stay healthy. 
Uh, make sure to follow us on YouTube. Make sure to follow us on other social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, links below. And thank you.